Hi, I'm just going to have a quick look at how I teach expanding and factorising brackets. Um, the first bit's not revolutionary and the second bit I stumbled across uh, with a group of mine when we were trying to sort of understand factorising. So I'll show you how I went about it. When we're expanding brackets, um, rather than using the claw or um, that kind of method where you say three times x and three times two, what we, start, what we did was we'd been doing a lot of multiplication um, with the grid method, so we tried to, I tried to stick with that method for expanding brackets and have a bit of consistency. And we had some success with being able to factor uh, to expand brackets in this way and then gather the answer back together like that. So again, for consistency with this particular group who needed consistency more than maybe others do, um, I decided to try and stick with it. So we with this particular one, we thought of it as reversing a grid method. We put our 4x and our minus 12 in those positions. And then for whatever reason, they found it a lot easier to see that the common factor in these two terms is going to be 4. What would I multiply 4 to get 4x? What would I multiply by 4 to get negative 12? And that proved to be a much more effective way of getting them to factorise into a single bracket. And we got quite far with some mixed letters and terms like that. So yeah, that's how I now teach expanding and factorising brackets.